As the sun sets, casting its warm golden hues across the horizons of Penzance, Ragil had set course on a memorable three-day journey across the Bay of Biscay. As the hours turned into days, Ragdoll sailed steadily whilst we took in the breathtaking beauty that surrounded us. The endless horizon, the play of sunlight on the water's surface, and the occasional glimpse of marine life dancing beneath us. The horizon became a canvas merging the sea and the sky in a breathtaking display of nature's artistry. And so, after three and a half days of perfect conditions and serene sailing, Ragdoll approached the Spanish shores. This journey across the Bay of Biscay had been nothing short of idyllic. Um, it has been a while and welcome to Moana. Now, it has now been, I think, five, six weeks since we arrived in Spain and we are loving it. We spent a couple of weeks making our way down through the Spanish Rias, which we would absolutely highly recommend that everyone visits. They, they are just the most beautiful of places. There's so many anchorages. Um, it's just, they wowed us. And to be honest, we didn't really want to leave. We spent a couple of weeks in Vigo getting some canvas work done. We can recommend Alberto at Flo in Vigo um, highly enough for his work because he had completed three of our um, canvas projects very quickly at a superbly good price. Um, and the guy has just been the bomb. Him and his team are just spectacular. Um, so if you're looking for some canvas work in Vigo, he's the guy to go to. Now yesterday we arrived in Moana. It's a beautiful little anchorage and we had a lovely dinner with Spirit of Clyde who also happened to be in the Ria at the moment. So today is our first day at anchor in a, in a couple of weeks. So we are going to have fun. We're just going. Today we're just going to have fun. That is literally the only plan for today. Michelle have solved a very British problem for us. They've given us two 230 volt British plugs. <laughs> so all the uh, appliances that we're buying foreign land, we can start plugging them into the boat. Yay! Also, they're well up for a bit of paddle boarding. Excellent. So let's get to they're it. They're going to follow us into the beach when when we go. Beautiful. Beach day? The beach is awesome. Ah. 
quick pause game. Introducing my husband, our hero, Chris, the unsuspecting victim of the dreaded tan lines. You see, Chris thought he had it all figured out, bathing in the glory of the Spanish sunshine for weeks and weeks with no sun cream in sight. Not at all concerned because of his Italian roots, basking away. But little did he know, the horror, this dark contrast. What a sight to behold, his arms, a two-tone masterpiece. However, being the resilient spirit that my husband is, he decided to embrace it at the beach that day. And this is where our story continues. So Darius picked the dirtiest corner of the beach, but uh, he'll do. <laughs> it's the quiet one where dogs can actually play. It's like sewage coming out of here. It's not sewage, it's a river. And it's just full of sewage. No, it's not sewage, <laughs> it's full of seaweed. Yuck, I like it. Moana! <laughs> it actually is Moana. It is? There's Steve and Michelle from Spirit of Clyde coming in for their paddle birding lesson 101. Oh, but it does feel really like weird. And the, the lower you can get your body weight over your knee, uh, your ankles, the better. Yeah! Mucho rumor, mucha gente que comenta. They seem to be having a blast. <laughs> don't be a chicken, don't be a chicken. <laughs> Come on. That's how you motivate him. How are you enjoying beach day? Good. Oh, you go. I'm gonna try and stand up. Go a bit The evening is drawing to a close here in Moana. Hey Hachi. Uh, we've spent the day with uh, Steve and Michelle on Spirit of Clyde and we've uh, managed to get them out of the paddle boards. <laughs> Convinced them that that's the way to go, so that's good. Uh, chilled out back here for a bit. Not really achieved much other than having a chilled out day. And uh, yeah, great day. Good morning. 
This is the 12 o'clock news from Ragdoll. It's one o'clock. Oh, okay. Try again. Oh. Got an idea. London, this is Moscow. Come in, Moscow. What in the heck are you doing? B-rolls. <laughs> Moana! Make way, make way. What my thing? So I think the plan for today is to hang about here for another day, see how it goes, just enjoy the weather, enjoy some more beach time hopefully. We're not in a particular rush to make our way down the Portuguese coast. But I think we will be leaving midweek this week um, to make our way south. So we, we made as much use of the time that we had in Vigo as we could with uh, a marina alongside with plenty of shore power and fresh water and access to uh, hardware stores. So we did uh, the, the table mod that we've been putting on for quite a while. So we, we, we cut this table back here and moved it back into there about 100 mil. What it's done is it's given us a lot more room in this part of the cockpit for going through. We've been working on the aft deck teak, that's now progressing really well. Um, only one more bit here to do and then the bathing platform. And that should be that project out the way. We got our new canvases made up at uh, Flow and they, they've turned out really, really nice. And it's it's made it workable out here now. So we're, uh, we're in really good shape. Um, yeah, we've, we, we made as much use of the time as we, we possibly could. life it's it's no different to life in a house <laughs> okay it's different but we we're working we're working from home from the boat effectively and it's it's no different um, we wake up about somewhere between seven and eight in the morning coffee dog walk and by 8.39 we're sitting down to work and that's that's no different to what we were doing back in Aberdeen. Uh, it just so happens we've got this as the backdrop to it now and it's it's just it's just nice. It's just nice to be doing this. Um, the, the, the boat's really comfortable now with all the work that we've done on it. Um, the shades, the the, the canvases, the, the work to the power systems, it's, it's meeting our needs. Um, a few little tweaks here and there still to do, but it's genuinely meeting our needs. Um, so yeah, we're, we're making the most of it. Um, having Starlink's fantastic, you know, we're, um, we're working at full broadband speeds, better than the house. Uh, It's just no different to working back in Aberdeen other than the fact that you're in a nice place and you have to kind of worry about your, your anchor a bit more, but that's about it. A lot of you ask why we're still in Spain. We've been here for now, I think, six, seven weeks and it's and we have really taken our time. We've enjoyed the Spanish Rios, we've enjoyed A Coruña, we've enjoyed Vigo. And we've had quite a few people surprised that we're still here because a lot of people tend to just breeze right past it and just bolt to Gibraltar as fast as they possibly can. Um, this usually leads up to the second question uh, of our Schengen time. Now, we've explained this a few times now, I think, I hope. Um, and we're a little bit different in that we have 90 days per state rather than 90 days of every 180 in all 28 states now and that's because I'm an EU citizen if you haven't guessed already so because Chris and I are married you know cue the uh, March wedding yeah. put a ring on it <laughs> 
So because we're married, Chris gets reciprocal rights from myself, essentially. So as long as we're together, he can stay in each EU country for 90 days out of every 180. This does require a little bit of um, shuffling and making sure that we do not go over past the 90 days. Um, and we have many spreadsheets calculating like that our exact timing as to where we are and what we're up to. But it means that we can take things a little bit slower and that means that we haven't really been in a particular rush to make our way down. The minute we get to Portugal, our clock essentially restarts again and whatever time we spend in Portugal, we will regain again back in Spain once we make it around the corner. And then we'll get, of course, a little bit of time back again once we hit Gibraltar, etc, etc. So this is where we're taking our time. We're not in a rush, we're enjoying it. Um, and also we're still working. We're still working full time. We're still working Monday to Friday. And it just means that our time to actually actively sail is a little bit more limited. So it might appear like we're just kind of living here because we have been asked if we're just staying in Spain by a lot of people. Um, and no, we're not. We're still heading to the Med for this winter. At least we're hoping so. Um, but we're just doing it a little bit differently. So one of the other advantages of taking our time and doing the, the Portuguese coast at this time of year that we, we've, we're now in instead of rushing down it is we're now in the best possible weather period to actually go down that part of the coast and um, that's really important now because uh, the, the advice for transiting that part of the coast is to stay within the 20 meter contour uh, to avoid the orcas so yeah no one wants the rudder chewed off so the, the, the it's just it's just too risky it's, I say risky it just, it's, it's gonna be risky trying to stay within the 20 meter contour as shallow as you possibly can if you have one and a half two meter Atlantic breakers on that coast so at, at this stage we're in a period of weather where we're more under a meter and a half down to a meter sometimes 0.7 so so that's really good that means we can um, make good time along the coast motoring if we have to uh, accepting that but we will be able to stick within that 20 meter contour uh, very effectively and um, hopefully arrive in the med with our rudder intact our plan is also that we're not going to be doing any night sailing while we're crossing um, the Atlantic coast. So we'll have plenty of early starts um, and late arrivals. So we're going to try and break it down into 40, 50, 60 mile hops as as we make our way down. Oh my, I just got flat by the way. Because <laughs> our plan um, for this winter is still to at least hope to make it to Malta. <laughs> day in Moana or Mayana today. I'm gonna go with Moana, it just sounds better. Um, and we're just at anchor, we're working away today. It's another beautiful day so I think after work we'll probably head out to the little town behind me there um, for some ice cream and maybe a meal out for a change. It's um, Today is a bank holiday in Spain um, so there's been parades and swimmers going past us early morning and generally speaking there's a big buzz around the town and I think there's fireworks etc planned for later on so I think we may go spend a little bit of time and see what all the fuss is about.
how are you enjoying Moana? Or Mayana? Moana. Moana lovely. just sounds better, doesn't it? Yeah, it's mm. lovely. Got, uh, what's his name? Maui. 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 Yeah. It's not a real Maui, but we'll call him Maui. Well, we just need a little uh, Hawaiian princess. I can do that. <laughs> <laughs> You've not got your uh, Moana dress out yet, have you? It can come. It can come. The, 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 the time can come, yes. Well, you you need to get your dress out, your Moana dress, and then we need to put Moana on and watch it. And then we'll be watching Moana in a Moana dress in Moana. So what you're saying is you're finally going to re-watch Moana with me for the 19th time? It would be rude not to while we're here. Yay! <laughs> We enjoyed a couple more days in Mayana before heading south to Bayona and finally on to Portugal. But more on that next time. Remember to leave us a like and a comment and don't forget to subscribe. As always, thanks for watching and till next time. Moana! <laughs> you dork. <laughs> see the line or the sky meets the sea. <laughs>